Welcome to a beautiful sunny day. The British weather is nuts at the moment. Um, so I just thought I would give you so many updates are happening at the moment actually. But here's Estrid after her first 40k. It's like literally two days later. She did so well. I still can't get over how good she was. Like she was just incredible. Um, however, she was a little bit sore on the road sections not as forward and as soon as we hit the grass she was well up for it she's um and the the gaiters of her boots she's quite sensitive skinned rubbed her skin a little bit like the actual boots themselves didn't but it's kind of do you know like when you get a bit of a heat kind of rub it's a bit like that um and she has been wearing her feet down evenly unlike tizzy but more than I would like for the training she's doing. So I have decided to shoe her for her season. And I'm gonna do the same as I've done with Tizzy, is I'm gonna shoe her for her competitions and then she'll be barefoot when she's not competing or doing hard training. But I have decided that when she is shod, she's gonna be padded. Tiz, can we not eat that? Tizzy. Oi, whistle. Stop eating wood. Thank you strange little pony um anyway <laughs> i've decided that she's having pads in that offer frog support so uh, the, the advantages of being barefoot is obviously that the whole hoof is working and moving and the frog is engaged and stuff now obviously shoes restrict the movement of the hoof yes i know but with these pads let me show you can i have your foot please they've got this frog support here and the putty he used underneath is blue which has made my absolute day i love that um and you can see here like how it's kind of rubbed rubbed a little bit in there so yeah kind of crusty dry skin she was so good for the farrier i was really really pleased with her i have been um putting tizzy shoes on her and like tapping them to get her used to that sensation and she was really really good so now oh my god this is so messy this one disgusting we are about to kevin beacon them up before going back in the field and we've got three weeks until her next ride so i'm hoping she'll get used to these before then I mean, there's no reason why she shouldn't. Lovely, look at those shiny hooves, eh? So shiny. Hey, snoozy face. <laughs> hey, snoozy face. Oh, you're so good. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how she recovered from that 40k as well. Like, her muscles feel good. She literally canted back into the field looking great the next day not tired at all which i'm really really pleased with so um now that she's shod tiz just came in to keep her company because she's now annoyingly on a different shoeing cycle to estrid because she was done four weeks ago um, but that's fine because her shoes are actually she's only got one more shoeing cycle till she'll have them off after bambi horse so that doesn't really matter um but now we're going to turn them both out in the summer paddock which has so much grass like they have been gradually doing it and they're now in there overnight and back in the winter paddock in the day but these two are going to be very excited to go out in the big grassy field in a minute Wizzle is keen going to the summer field Estrid doesn't really know what's going on she still hasn't quite clocked that this is what's happening you, however, you know the drill, don't you? Come on then, let's take you down. Let's breathe in, guys. Into the summer field, you two. Off into the sunset. Guys, 
Enjoy your grass munching. See you in the morning. What are you two up to? I don't know if you'll be able to see. Or they'll stay lay down. Hello! I thought you'd be snoozy because your tummies are full. Hey? Good morning, my lovely little grey ponies. Hey? Good morning, little butt. And hello, you. Good morning, Rusty. Have you got to fall, Bonnie? No. It's always rolling, isn't it? It's always rolling. Oh, this is up. Waking up. You sneezy pony. What have you been? How have you managed to get your fly mass muddy in this field? Like literally, there is no mud. Hey. Oh, Estrid. I won't get you up. You have a nice nap, and we'll get you up in a bit. Oh, ho, ho. look at your little face. Take you to your winter field now. Oh, it's a tough life, Estridge. Yeah, let's go then. to go in their winter field than they are in the summer. So the ponies are in a nice new field. Estrid and Tizzy have now had new shoes so it was time we sorted out the new wheels. Now I've been to see some horse boxes and I loved hunter horse boxes so let me show you the workshop and when we went to um, meet the builders and it was just it was so good they were perfectly built Sure, exactly what I wanted. So, oh, what a bridge! Fancy. We have just finished mountain bike in Delamere Forest. We have never been there before. It was quite fun. Lots of potential. Probably go back one day. Um, but that is not why we have ventured up north from us. And we're actually going to see hunter horse boxes. Now, I have two, possibly three horse box companies that I intend to go and have a look at. This is the first um, and then I will compare them all in terms of how they choose their chassis, how they build the floor and the walls, how safe it is for the horses and obviously cost does play a big part. Um, and I am funding this lorry by selling Connie the lorry and getting a new loan. So yeah, I'm quite excited. I hope this isn't a really, 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 really long process and that I might have a lorry before the end of the season, but it's a big investment and I don't want to rush it and if it takes that long, it takes that long. Um, and Dan has kindly said that I can use the van and the trailer. <laughs> so, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> He's in the zone. He's driving. Safety first, people. Um, so yeah, I'm quite excited. It'll be the first time we meet them, so I'm not gonna like proper vlog, but they have said yes to like showing you the the kind of workshop and stuff. So yeah, fingers crossed that this is kind of the kind of boxes I want. The how I've chosen the three places that I want to go visit is whether they ordinarily do emergency exits 
out of the back of the horse box so if you don't have access to the ramp the horses can still get out so that's how I narrowed it down I went for three otherwise I get choice fatigue because there's so many options um, and hopefully one of them will be my future horse box we have arrived we've just had like an official tour with Adam who like explained everything showed us how everything is made made sure that I understood which is a feat in itself um, this is one of the boxes being built and you can see like how all the process is done and the metal that is going on the walls and they put like a, a cage bar thing. He explained it much better um, so that the horses are nice and safe, which is my priority. Like I don't care about bells and whistles, just want my horses to be safe and I want the box to work. Then it has this little grooms area and what I wanted, the emergency doors. I hope I never ever have to use them. But the option of them there makes me so happy. This workshop is also the tidiest workshop. It's so organized, it's lovely. Um, this is one of the boxes that has been finished. So it's got the paint work. Here's the breast bar, little loot in. So again, like super sturdy, really nice. On paper, before I uh, kind of came to have a look at boxes, these were my number one in terms of ticking all the things that I want. Actually, this is really nice. The color's lovely probably really hard to keep clean but yes yeah, so fingers crossed got to crunch some numbers look at these are all the ones that are waiting to be made into horse boxes that um we can have one made here because actually very rapid to make them as well which is exciting so we might have a lorry on the road for summer Ooh. So having been to Hunter bo Horse Boxes, I knew that if I was going to get a horse box, that is exactly where I wanted to get it from. Had a look, little look at the second-hand market, and there were few and far between that gave me the confidence that actually everyone really likes them, so they're not like selling them on. Um, but he showed me around, and he gave me a list of prices for the chassis and things, and a, and a newer chassis, which would mean that I would potentially have that lorry for much longer, um, so it would last me 10 plus years, hopefully. It was only £5,000 more than my budget, but £5,000 is a lot of money and it's not something I can just magically get out of nowhere. It takes me about a year to save that. So I, I decided that I wasn't going to get a horse box straight away because I'd rather get one that's going to last me a long time and I wanted a few little extras that obviously cost a bit of money. So instead, welcome to Maeve. So she is a transit custom and can tow obviously the trailer she used to be a builder's van so there is nothing inside but brick dust um this morning actually me and dan gave it a little clean took out the bulkhead um and she is a blank sheet a clean canvas and i'm so excited to do up the inside and she'll store all the crew gear she'll be the main crew car gonna upgrade the tires so she can go off road so all the crew gear all of the stuff you'd normally put in a lorry we're gonna have storage like specially made, mainly by Dan, I will help, um, in the back and turn it into a little bit of a equestrian camper. And I'm super excited to take you along for that journey. It's gonna be slow because it takes money. And obviously I've just bought a vehicle. Um, this will be my day-to-day -day vehicle. This will be my only vehicle now as well, which does save me a little bit of money not having two to run, two to service an MOT. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so excited. It should, um, it should be really good. We're gonna put electrics in. I'm gonna put a tiny bed in because actually we've got another camper. So if ever we need to go proper camping, we'd probably take that as well. But it now means that Dan can come with me in the vehicle to competitions rather than me being in the lorry and him having to drive a crew car. So I'm so, so happy with it. I can't wait to like pimp my ride. <laughs> It's going to be really good. So um, I'm actually about to take Tizzy to Canic Chase for a little bit of man v horse training. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to introduce you to Maeve, who is now actually quite dirty after one day with me. Um, I bet she was dirtier when she was a builder's man, to be honest. Yeah, exciting news. And I'm really looking forward to what she's going to look like in a year's time.